my name is Jay Ganesh Rajaraman. If you don't want to go with a big name, uh, just call me Jay. It's as simple as possible. I am originally from uh, Tamil Nadu, but never stayed there. I have been living in Nasik and went to college in Mumbai and Sadar Patel. It's an autonomous institute. I uh, did my master's in computer engineering at Iowa State and currently I work as an embedded software developer with Rockwell Automation in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I did my uh, bachelor's in electronics and telecommunication. That's my background. Uh, I had pretty much uh, courses related to electronics as well as something related to networking. But uh, my research and more of my project focus was related to embedded systems um, where I used to like integrate two technologies together. For example, my final year project was integrating DSP uh, processors with high high frequency induction load resonators. So I used to integrate those two applications and then produce some results. So that is what an overview of what got me interested in embedded systems. And that is what I pursued at my master's as um, what we can say as my major over here. So yeah, my GRE score is not too great to start with. It's just 310. Uh, it's pretty decent. My preparations towards GRE was uh, like every other person just uh, going through books like Manhattan, Manhattan File B for preparing for English, going through prepare, a lot of preparation tests based on official books suggested by ETS. I had also joined some classes and they had also helped me prep a lot. I think uh, more of getting oriented towards the examination and being into the time crunch of how you divide your time and understand how this thing works. Basically, that helped me get to this and uh, uh, studied a month for TOEFL and then gave my TOEFL in late August. So I think for TOEFL also, I refer to ETS TOEFL books. I think uh, referring to official guides suggested by ETS helps you a lot to understand how the format of the paper is generally and helps you to at least time things and get a good format of how the paper would look rather than just relying on other papers which are out there. So I think sticking to ETS official guides helps you guys a lot. One of my reasons for deciding for masters was um, I did an undergraduate research also under an IIT Bombay professor, which helped me improve myself seeing, okay, I'm able to pretty much uh, have a good exposure towards research in India also. And I had published my paper and I personally went to Taiwan to present that paper. So having accomplished that, but uh, wanting to have more on my, on my platter, getting to know the education, which is there outside India, getting to know the syllabus, how things are done academically, re uh, research oriented, and also some extracurricular activities. This is what intrigued me to thinking, okay, let me at least explore something which is out there. Uh, second reason was many of my seniors were in US, explore other countries also, which have some great programs because at the end of the day, what I believe in is you should make the most use of the opportunity which you have in hand rather than just criticizing or thinking you are in a bad place. Yeah, I think uh, that is how I got acquainted to Yocket saying it was one of those apps which had compiled itself in a very good format uh, saying if you enter your GRE and TOEFL score, at least they used to give you a prediction of what was the stacks which were existing prior to you applying in and then at least telling you where how would it match? Maybe it would not be 100% true, but at least they give you a rough estimate of whether it is a good fit for your, 
your profile is a good fit for the university of not but at the end of the day i personally believe there are a lot of factors which play into existence like gre tofl your sop lor your resume so basically it at the end of the day it depends on the admissions committee who goes through all of your documents um, to decide shortlisting was uh, i had money constraints so pretty much that was the first limit and bar which i put for myself saying in a year i can spend maybe max is $26000 that is the max i can spend so that itself helped me narrow down most of the universities and i found out that what university i was looking out for are most public research universities so those are the universities which are funded by the state government itself that is the reason the tuition fees is pretty much less that was my first criteria and the second criteria came saying okay uh, once this is there does it help me get some uh, research or teaching assistantship because most of the universities right away reject saying we won't be giving you for the uh, masters program uh, for sure they give for a phd program so if you guys are desperately looking out for a mass uh, money oriented thing saying if i am getting some kind of teaching or research assistantship please go for a phd they fully fund you and also they pay you approximately $2000 per month so i think that is a pretty good deal the only thing being you are locked with the professor or the universities for 5 years if that is a commitment which you guys are ready to give please surely go for that also uh, the third thing which i looked into while uh, shortlisting my universities was whether this university is allowing uh, you to do a co-op or not uh, for uh, freshers a co-op means an extended internship which you can do during while you are studying basically when your semester is going on you can work with a company that is called a co-op and internship is one which is done generally in summers which is like a three month program and co-op is an extended version of internship which is like three plus which can extend to like six months and things like that so these were the three main criteria first is uh, the tuition fees second if it's allowing me to get any kind of assistance or scholarship and the third thing being whether it's allowing me to get good co-ops or like does it allow for a co-op program or not uh, so talking about my initial days i think uh, us was a great experience uh, coming to a different country learning their lingo learning their culture was uh, drastically different and i would say that it was a challenge at start but at the end once you get accustomed to talking with professors getting to know new friends in america seeing all your peers grow i think it's a smooth journey from that onwards so one of the key things which i would say to everyone is keep your ears and eyes open make new friends get along all kinds of cultural people so that at least you understand how different cultures are there and how you can blend along with them um so going to their websites i think most of the websites are pretty descriptive so go uh, just googling all the apartments which are available and going through them and if it fits in your budget yes please go ahead and do the emailing part saying like email was the most effective conversation for me and the property management so i think uh, that really helps out personally speaking uh, there are multiple job opportunities available in us irrespective of whatever people tell in india i personally strongly believe that there are multiple job opportunities available in us getting a good university doesn't guarantee you that you will be succeeding in your life or getting a job this is not like in india where you have campus placements that is why everyone comes to us because it is called a level playing field level playing field means you have to step up your game prove yourself and nothing is given to you on your plate there is something called as career fair which is conducted every semester at every universities minimum 400 companies visit that career fair 
and you need to personally go and talk to the companies which you are interested in and then you signify saying okay these are my potentials these align with your goals of what you require in your job description so and things go forward from that try to get as much as scholarship or research assistantships as possible because that helps you eliminate your loan as soon as possible so that you can start your job afresh not going into debt but coming out of debt right out of school and in may 2018 i landed a job with rockwell automation so i am working with them so this is my first full time job it's really exciting and people are really good so one thing which i can state is do not miss out on any opportunity which is available to you just follow the steps right of how to get the most out of the opportunity which is given to you always remember wherever you land it is a land of opportunities so guys uh, i am really interested in helping you out to uh, tell what you can do to succeed here in us if you have any questions please feel free to shoot me an email uh, note down my email which is uh j as in jack a as an apple y as a yocket j a y and 27894 at gmail.com so you can shoot me an email at any point of time and i'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible i think i am uh, really indebted to yocket that's what i can say because i personally had a uh, dream saying how i can help out students who are there in india to get a great direction for their life and give them hope saying it is a great opportunity out here how can we make the most use out of it and i personally feel that if there are great mentors in your life and great seniors who can guide you in the right direction your life and your path for the future is pretty much set because you always see success and follow the same footsteps of what a successful person has done i as a single person could just do for a small domain but what yocket has done is combined all the resources and positive seniors who are there out in us and around the globe help them to come on one platform and presented in front of you so please make full use of the opportunity and also whatever options yocket is giving to you and uh, that's what i can say and yocket is going doing a good job and i hope i am of some help to you guys and any help you guys need in the future i am here for you because you are working for a better vision for india so i think that is a great service which you guys are doing thank you